Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here at my next uh, Legend of Korra news update video. A uh, few nice things to talk about. We actually got a good amount of updates yesterday um, and some other stuff to talk about as well. First up, some release date news and I suppose product announcement as well. Obviously the Book 2 Spirits art book, Art of the Animated Series, was uh, confirmed to still be in production by Brian a few weeks ago. Just yesterday, Barnes & Nobles put up a listing for that art book and posted a release date as well. Um, and so they have the book up on their side listed as coming out September 16th, 2014. Now obviously they're a bookstore, so that's the bookstore release date. Uh, you usually go back 13 days to find out what the comic book store release date. So more than likely this book is coming out September 3rd, which is a Wednesday. Tuesday is obviously the 16th. That makes complete sense. This looks very likely to be the actual date. So we'll have to wait until September solicits probably to see the actual full cover of the book. Because as I'm going to show you now, the cover that they have listed here more than likely is a placeholder cover. Because the same thing happened with the book one air art book. We had um, we had a piece of art that uh, Brian did ages ago as a placeholder holder cover, and then he did a new piece of art for the actual cover. So here's what they have listed as a placeholder uh, cover. As you can see, this is the San Diego San Diego Comic Con poster from 2013, the book two spirits one makes sense as the kind of placeholder cover but we'll probably get something different as the actual cover uh, which should be interesting but I do assume this piece of art will be in the art book at some point they have it listed for $34.99 so makes sense as the price but either way this is this is really cool um, maybe a bit later than we would have expected you know this is um, at that stage it'll be like just under a year after the premiere of book 2 when the art book comes out it makes same sort of but it's uh, just nice to have a date for that book. Second release date information would be that we finally got confirmation that the book 2 DVD and Blu-ray sets are actually happening. Um, both Amazon.com and Best Buy, uh, their website, have this uh, up there. Amazon I don't think has a Blu-ray listing up and they had a release date but they took it down so Best Buy is the only one left with the release date. Best Buy are saying that the it's coming out July 1st uh, which I think makes sense, uh, US uh, DVDs come out on a Tuesday, that makes sense. So July 1st is the release date. Best Buy answered someone on uh, Twitter saying that that's the release date that we got from the manufacturers, so that looks like being the actual thing. Uh, they have a placeholder image up, but it's pretty much confirmed that's definitely not going to be the cover. There's going to be a new piece of art for the DVD cover, I'm not even going to show you that image. No details on what exactly features are on the set, but I assume it's the full Book 2 Spirits uh, set. There will be some extras, I assume. They do mention it's two discs, which makes sense. You know, 14 episodes, it's going to be over two discs. Uh, prices seems to be anywhere between 14 and $18, depending on where you order it from. But anyway, this is a nice announcement. It's going to be like just under a year after the premiere of Book 2 Spirits when this uh, DVD set comes out and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, nice to finally have this released and finally have it announced as well as nice. Uh, other piece of news, final like I suppose actual official piece of news, the rest of it is just some other stuff I'm involved with them, um, would be that The Rift Part 1 has topped the New York Times bestseller list and I think that puts the um, puts it at like seven comics in a row. So The Promise Part 1, 2, 3, Search Part 1, 2, 3, now The Rift They've all topped the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, that's a real big success, I think, for the comics, that they're consistently topping these lists when they come out. That's really good. Um, I think the hardcover books have uh, done well as well. I, I can't remember if they topped the bestseller list, but they've done well either way. Uh, Art book, I think, topped the bestseller list as well. So Avatar, these books are selling really well, and you can see that the quality is showing and them actually selling well. So that's nice to hear, um, and hopefully the Rift Part 2, 3 and onwards will do the same. Now, other things I want to mention are just, uh, mainly podcast stuff. Um, just uh, 
I think it was two days ago now, uh, I was a guest host on Castbender Podcast, another Avatar The Last Airbender and Quora podcast. I was a guest host on their recent episode, I think it was episode 67. Uh, you can find that on their website. I'll have a link in the description to where you can listen to that podcast. I was a guest host there. First half of the show is them kind of interviewing me. I talk about um, uh, how I started the Avatar Online podcast, my experience with the fan site, Avatar The Last Airbender Online.com. And just some general stuff like that. Um, second half is more news focused. We talk about Nick up front. Um, what we really think the book three release date will be. Some a little bit of speculation on book three, that sort of thing, and a few other little questions there. The podcast is about fifty five minutes long, um, so shorter than most of ours, but it's uh, it was really fun to be on that one. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, next, uh, later on today, I'll actually be re recording a podcast with Kevil from Avatar The Legend of Korra online.com. It's just going to be Admin Talk Episode 4. This is a, a kind of series of uh, podcasts where we kind of talk about recent events from the perspective as, you know, admins of fan sites and that different perspective that uh, that offers. Um, the plan for today is to talk about Book 2 Spirits, because obviously our last episode was before Book 2 even aired. We're going to talk about that, we're going to talk about you know, the, wait, the wait between Book 2 and 3 and how that's been for our fan sites. I'll ask Kevil about some of the new things he's introduced on his site, um, and we'll preview Book 3 as best we can as well. Um, so that's the plan for that. Final thing I want to mention about the podcast is just the Avatar Online podcast is turning two years old tomorrow, actually. But we'll be celebrating that on this Sunday show, so the 23rd. We'll be having a two-year anniversary podcast, and that's going to be episode 84 of the podcast. And on there, it's primarily going to be just a regular show. Where, you know, We're going to cover news, we're going to review an episode. It's going to be K104, The Voice in the Night. But the listener question segment is going to be focused on talking about the best podcast moments as sent in by the viewers of our podcast. And if you have listened to the Avatar Online podcast a lot, definitely in the comments below or contact me anywhere you can and tell me what your favorite moments from the Avatar Online podcast have been. And we'll talk about them on the show on Sunday. So a lot of podcast news, but also a lot of product uh, good news, whether that be product re getting release dates, getting confirmed. We're just selling well, so some nice news. Hopefully we'll get some Book 3 news very soon, because that's the one thing we're kind of desperate for right now. So thanks for watching this video, and bye.